Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of March the 12th through to the 18th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. First up, you have the Ten of Wands in the upright position, followed then by the Four of Pentacles upright. And next we have the Eight of Swords in the upright, followed by the Ten of Cups reversed. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Chariot in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, for your overall energy, Cancer, you have that of the Ten of Wands in the upright position. This generally speaks to me about overburdened. <laughs> Somebody here is overburdened. Your, um, it could be for some of you, maybe you're taking on too many responsibilities at work or at home or maybe both and it's kind of uh, breaking your back at this point <laughs> maybe you're just dealing with too many things some of you could be even like literally going to the gym and maybe overworking your bodies and finding that it's to your detriment this is all about trying to find some balance in um in how you conduct your your time and your energy so um, I always suggest if people are ca carrying too many responsibilities and burdens, it's because cancers tend to be very caring people and they like to help others out. But sometimes you guys take too much on, on your plate and too many responsibilities. Learn to say no, learn to delegate some of your duties if you're overburdened. Just a little bit of advice, okay? Now, coming into the week, we have the energies of the Four of Pentacles in the upright position. This is my little hoarder card. This is all about holding on too tightly. Now, for some of you, it could be that you are holding on too tightly to finances. Maybe you are feeling a little bit of a financial pinch and you're feeling like you have to sort of hold on to your finances. Maybe some of you are saving up for a trip or for a move or for a project, a business project or something like that. And you're really holding on to your coin at this point. For others of you, um, this could be just holding too tightly to material items. I always suggest maybe have a garage sale if you have too many material items. Just learn to sort of travel a little bit lighter, loosen, um, loosen things up a little bit. Holding on too tightly to anything, including our own emotions, can be a little bit detrimental. Now, it's paired with the Eight of Swords in the upright position. This is a card about feeling trapped. So um, maybe some of you guys are feeling trapped by your material possessions. <laughs> uh, in some area of your life, you could be feeling bound and restricted. At any point, you can remove the blindfold and, and get through those uh, swords here holding you in. There's big gaps there. <laughs> which uh, indicates, well, swords do indicate communication and uh, thoughts. So for me, the Eight of Swords um, generally means uh, one of two things, is that there are people around you who are scaring you with um, the what ifs, or uh, you can't do that because if this could happen, that could happen. They're scaring you with all of their, um, you know, their opinions. Uh, for others of you, it could just be your own thoughts that are keeping you restricted and bound. It's just a matter of getting out of that mindset and uh, thinking differently, and that's how we release ourselves from that mental prison. Sort of overthinking things way too much. For whatever of you, this is gonna play out differently for all of you. But um, however this is, if for some of you this is resonating, it's, um, remember, you can release yourself. Just make a few uh, tweaks because there's a lot of energy here of like just being overburdened and and feeling trapped so some of you guys need to really release some of the things that you're doing or how you're doing it just make some adjustments the energy changes up quite a bit when it comes to the weekend of the 16th 17th you have the ten of cups in the reverse position still lovely energy ten of cups is sort of the happy home card where we're feeling emotionally abundant feeling very good on the emotional level we're we're kind of at a 10 on the emotional level when it's inverted like this uh, somehow sometimes this can represent an upset in the uh, on the emotional front it's it's a minor upset it's not anything too major because at worst it's going to bring us back to the nine of cups which is still beautiful energy um, this could sometimes come up 
when uh, there's been an upset in the home, for example, maybe somebody, you know, disappointed us or we're not getting along well with them or they're just pissing us off and that kind of thing, taking away uh, a little bit of the emotional happiness. Now, this could happen at home or even on the work front or on a, a friend's level. However, it's going to play out differently. Remember, it's just a general read. But I like the way that this reading ends with the chariot. This is this card, you know, uh, coincides with the sign of Cancer. So this is an incredible uh, way to end the, end the week. It's very nice, um, especially since you start the week on a little bit of a restrictive uh, note. But towards the end of the week, it sees you moving on forward and quickly. A chariot can sometimes represent travel. It uh, represents moving forward, full steam ahead, uh, very quickly. Just don't roll over anybody's toes in when when you're in such a hurry to move forward. It's also a card that represents victory. So great reading here, Cancer. I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Have a good one. Bye for now.